go into the scrapyard because I need some space. Now this is what I'm getting rid of. That is barbecue. This is cast aluminum. You separate this from your regular regular aluminum. That is non-magnetic stainless steel. Car battery. These are power supplies. You can open them, take them apart. i rather not. There's, it's really more of a pain. But what you do is you take the cords off and you sell them as is. Some wiring. Aluminum, 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 aluminum. Now, something with aluminum. Talk to your scrapyard. They will pay you. Wow, that's that's really loud. They will pay you for your. Oh my goodness! Now someone else turns on the lawnmower. I can't believe this. They will pay you for this separately from your aluminum. So usually aluminum goes for about maybe 40 something cents a pound. They will give you 50 cents or more for the heat sinks by themselves. So be sure to separate your heat sinks. Now, this is number two copper. And as you can see here, this part I'm holding, that's a piece of brass. I have to cut this end off and then sell this with my brass. This is low grade, some little, uh, some more low grade there. This is all brass, as you can see, all different types of brass. You can just imagine where this came from. All right, um, some motors. I should have some more in the basement. These are all transformers. Now, you've seen transformers before. This is all from a um, microwaves and things like that. So this is what's going now to the scrapyard because I need the room. I can't, I have three totes full of low grade and I need them. I need to use them for other stuff. So put all my other stuff in. You can see that tote is full of aluminum. Now this is what I have left in my backyard. Except for that wee wet, that leaf blower, that's not going. So you see, this is what I'm going through. And also, what's over there. You can see that the water heater, all that other stuff. Now this is some stuff that one of my viewers wants to get a video of, so he sees what, he, what I have because he wants to buy it. Now, this is a weed whacker. It's a brush whacker. You can see, nice motor. Here's another one. This is a home light. And you can see there, there's some another motor in there and some other stuff. This is a another home light weed whacker. You can see the parts for it. Now this one, this is a really cool one. Look at this, this thing is brand new. Okay, it's a, it's a Husqvarna 145BT. Look at this, look at this, look at the bolts. They're not even, they're not rusted, nothing. This thing was brand new. I don't, don't know why the person threw it out. Okay, there's the gas cap missing. This thing here doesn't belong on there, but it looks like they just try to put it on. And uh, this goes on there. And everything, this, this thing is brand new. I got a customer, a viewer that wants to buy this. So this is what I have here. So let's go to the scrapyard, see what I can get for this stuff. And then I'll be back later. Oh yeah, also this here. This is a very thick cable. This is like THHN wire. I'm gonna have a video later with an electrician showing you the different grades of wire. That way when you go to the scrapyard, you know what you're taking and what type of gauge this is. So let's go to the scrapyard and see what I get for all this. Okay, so I'm back from the scrapyard. This is them here, Rockwood Recycling. They also have the iScrap app. So if you go to iScrapapp.com, you'll see their information, like the forum. Now, this is what I have here. As you can see, it says what, what it is, the weight, how much, and what the total was. Now that's what I got paid for my scrap, $246. This is their website right here. And also check out iscrapapp.com. This isn't bad for, you know, what I had there. Now you did see I had a lot more to go. And I'm just very, you know, I'm so busy with doing other projects that I don't have time to bring my stuff in. All right, guys, so this is Mike Scrapper. Please comment, like, subscribe, share this page. Till then, guys.